through it. Yeah, and now you don't have as many. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or I mean, it'd be. I, I'm sure as this goes on, people or teachers will be doing more video chatting and maybe or even a one-on-one -on -one and using the different resources on things because um, the stuff's out there. Uh, I know in kind of the early stages now, people are all getting used to, um, you know, how to make this stuff work. So uh, it is a little difficult, but I'm sure as we go on and, you know, people share more stuff and get more practice on stuff, it'll kind of get a little bit better. I mean, I don't mean to scare you guys, but uh, I heard, I know Kansas has canceled school for the rest of the year. And um, I forget, I think there, I think one other state mentioned that also. Which, yeah, uh, Kansas only has 17 cases, while New York and New Jersey have over 2,300 cases combined. Yeah, so yeah. are they being overly cautious, or did are we, like, not being cautious enough, right? That's kind of, that could be a topic of discussion for sure. Um, all right, so how long did it take you guys to complete this assignment today, this uh, this presentation? Kaylee, how long do you think your whole video took to, to, to make? Um, it's also about like, maybe like 20 minutes. 20? Okay, that's cool. Um, Mark, what about you? Uh, it took me like half an hour to like an hour to like okay. get done. All right, that's good. And that's what I'm intending, about a half hour or so. Chris, what about you? You had a pretty decently length video on there. It took a while, to be honest. Yeah. What did I you... don't know how long, though. What did you edit with? Um, I don't know the name of the website, but it's it was a weird one. The uh, working with it wasn't great, but it was something. All right, I know that's something I want to get into. I found a program that was free online called We Video, I think. Which when um, I looked that one up, it said that you had to pay for it. I think there was. I remember seeing something with that where. I mean, you like can do like a trial option? or something on it. I'll I'll, okay. check. I'll look into it a little bit more if we actually end up using that in class. Uh, all right, so let's see. I'm just trying to get my screen. Is everybody seeing just what's in the middle of your screen, like where my mouse is? Is it just a black box with the... It says you're presenting to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's like not a good, very good use of space there. Um, I think. All right. I think so, it's probably because you're on a you're on a tab. Okay. So all right. So we'll just get into tomorrow then, I guess. Unless anybody have anything they want to add about today's lesson or anything or or yesterday's project. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to try to do also, I'm going to kind of try to do like a project day and then like maybe an academic day or, you know, kind of try to spread it apart. I don't know. That's good that you guys said you were able to finish this project in about a half an hour or so. Again, that's what I'm looking for. But as I know, we get into some of the other type of stuff because um, I'd like to be able to do more and uh, trying to find resources. Um, I actually... Um, got an email today. Thank Chris. Actually, that was a good uh, forward you gave me on that tech radar. Um, our IT department is uh, filling out the forms so that you guys would be able to use Adobe software at home. Um, so how many of you guys think that you would be able to install? Like, are your computers, um, do they have uh, the necessary processors and RAMs to run Adobe software? I already I have, have one. <laughs> I have no clue, Absolutely. honestly. I think so. Liam, you're not sure? Well, I, the mo I, I'm not exactly oh. sure because it's like the process, like my, I, my, I'm my, using my laptop right now. That's my main source of right. use. And like, I have like an Intor, Intel Core i3 and like that's, so I'm not 100% sure though. All right, well, we'll kind of go into that and kind of ease it in and see. Uh, I'm kind of seeing it more as being like extra credit or, you know, as we get to stuff, if you guys, you know, you want to be able to get into a little more and do more than the bare minimum, then 
you know, definitely at least give you that option to do stuff. Uh, I'm assuming it won't be required that you have that because obviously everybody, you know, their access and what you have your resources uh, is, is very different. But, um, you know, hopefully we can kind of get back to doing some some things that are more like in that we've done in class using that type of software. So that's one thing. And they are looking into enabling the uh, Google Gmails so that we can kind of communicate that way also. Um, the Discord thing isn't totally acceptable by school because they can't really monitor it, but kind of under these circumstances, um, you know, it's it's not really uh, going to, we're not going to get any, I'm not going to get any trouble hopefully or anything, but um, I think that's providing a good way of communication kind of real time. Because um, I was trying to set up a Google chat today and um, it wasn't finding people's like emails or whatever. <laughs> So um, I don't know how else we can kind of provide this uh, this type of on real time communication, and I'm not going to be sitting on my computer all day long waiting for emails and stuff like that. But um, however, if you guys didn't see that, um, and you can spread around on Discord, I put oh I did put my email address on the mainstream. If you guys wanted to contact me at all, that's another way, um, or if you know somebody. All right, so um, getting to tomorrow, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys a head up, and um, as I'm recording this, I'll post this for anybody that wasn't able to view the video tonight and be in our chat. Um, we're going to get it, and I, I, the survey, actually, maybe I should talk about that too. I don't know if anybody saw that on Twitter, which I'm kind of getting away from a little bit because I don't want to have information on multiple platforms as far as where I'm requiring you guys to turn stuff in. That's certainly fine if you're posting stuff on there. Um, I am going to be looking for it in classroom, though, until we really get everybody moving in all cylinders, kind of, so to speak, using all the media. But um, let's see. I did a profile. I would like to try to um, kind of do projects that you guys want to work on. So um, let's see. 13 votes, not, not an amazing response, but uh, the majority of people do want to see drawing with animation. So we might do, I kind of need to get a little practice on some of the applications and streamline it. Um, so, but maybe we will do a project doing like an online flip book or something like that, or doing some character drawing. I, I do have a couple resources I looked at. Um, so we will try to start get back into our, our kind of curriculum that we were working in class. Um, uh, Fire there, Alpaca is a uh, free drawing application people use what's it called and fire, fire alpaca. alpaca fire alpaca yeah, yeah. yeah right. it's actually really good it's free but um a lot of people i've seen use fire alpaca to like draw like maybe like each frame and then um they put it together with like another program so all right um yeah, There's so a lot of free editing software so can you uh post a link to that maybe on discord or something if uh is it an online site that you use fire no. alpaca or is it no i could try all right yes i don't personally use it because i have photoshop and uh but like i know a lot of people do use it all right um here i found the site let's see can you add on discord on like the i guess pm discussion and i can just Actually, I'll, I'll take it in. Yeah, post it like right in here. And then. Alright. Oh, wait. In. Is there a post it in? Yeah, there is. I found, you know, so there are a couple I'm looking through. These are some of my. Um, and they actually, these are some of my ideas for future projects. Alright, we are going to. I'm thinking, like, right now to kind of keep technology low. Um, we're going to start looking at kind of into the concept of podcasts. It has a lot of type of extensions with that uh, for storytelling, and then we can create visuals to go with it. Um, I was also looking at, and I'm, the ordering of things is what I really want to get together here. I noticed in the PowerPoints that people made, a lot of people had difficulty having audio playing across slides or really weren't doing that. So I was going to do something with photography there, maybe just and kind of make sure that everybody knows how to do that because I think that does make a nice presentation having the audio. The ones that didn't have it really did not have as much of an impact. Um, 
and with that, just doing um, speed with transitions and animation and stuff like that. Um, I forget what I was thinking about with this. St uh, commercials, I mean, there's animation in commercials, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Virtual field trips, I think, especially since we are stuck at home, um, we should probably explore that. And kind of some art appreciation and things like that. Um, I already mentioned Wii Video. Um, that was another one that can um, uh, that I have to play around with, but I know it is an online free video editor. Powtoon is um, a um, cartoon type of generator, and you can create some animations with that. Um, Cameron just mentioned that one, and then uh, Animaker.com was another site, and FlipAnim.com. So if you guys want to help research any of these and have some kind of good project ideas, um, you know, you, we can definitely work that into the mix. But this is what I'm thinking about as far as having our online resources, the types of things that I think that we can do um, with limited resources. All right, anybody, any thoughts there? So I guess then getting to our project, kind of talking about podcasts, right? And we'll try to add so add some animation and visuals to them later. What I have in mind for tomorrow is I'm going to provide you. And actually, this is a project I did um, in um, one of my master's classes, actually. But don't get frightened by uh, uh, that fact that it was a high-level college class. We were assigned uh, six sounds, which I'm going to have for you guys in this folder. Um, and actually, uh, uh, when I'm done here, if, if I don't see anything different, I will I will publish it for you. But there's a male, a male sneezing, somebody climbing up the stairs, a kitchen sink, a uh, barnyard with animals, car engine idling, and a battle cry. Right? Is that six? So you're going to have to take those six sounds and try to imagine a story that you can incorporate all those into. All right, any thoughts so far? Fun, impossible. I'll do it. Lame. Complicated, right. but doable. All right, so, I mean, and we're gonna break it up into segments, all right? So tomorrow is just really gonna be about planning, all right? It's not gonna be, um, it's not going to be about um, actually working and, uh, and, and filming and everything or doing the audio editing, all right? So tomorrow, you're just going to listen to those sounds, kind of think of a category. I think I have a couple more in this form that I have here. And then, as I said, you're going to create a story using them, and they can be in any order as long as they're school appropriate for content. All right. So um, I did put this little YouTube video on here trying to think about the different parts of a story. All right. So you can watch that on your own. I'm not going to take up the time. It's only two minutes long. You can see there. Um, and then you're going to have this form to fill out, which uh, is basically your planning, all right? So I'll go back here and actually I'll look at the example that I filled out. I can't preview. All right, let's see. Why am I not able to open that? Let's try, let's see if I can find where I saved that. All right, here we go. So, you got your name, you got to pick the category. Um, my plot, I kind of come up with the idea first. And what I did was I basically, after I listened to those sounds, I kind of had them here, like just looking at them as a window. So I constantly am thinking about what those sounds are, right? And incorporating them. So a boy is walking up oh, the morning, by the sound of barnyard animals. He runs down the stairs, all right, that's a typo, fast as a Lamborghini. So right now we have barnyard animals, um, car, engine, and climbing of stairs. He found his dad washing dishes in the sink and asked what the noise was, a chew. So there's your sneeze sound. He told the boy he didn't hear anything. The boy went back to his room to go uh, to back to sleep. As he went back up the stairs, he wondered if he had imagined animal sounds. He crashed into his bed and remembered, no school today, hooray. And there's our epic battle cry. All right. So there's my little plot. And maybe, I don't know, I did that kind of first. And then I went back to describe my characters. And I think in my actual script, I might describe 
the physical appearance first and where it is. And then um, the conflict is kind of implied. And so is the outcome and the theme. And uh, we are going to incorporate background music into this also. All right. So what do we have to do for planning tomorrow? Anybody? Could we have to make like thumbnails or uh, something? Not thumbnails. You have, you're going to have uh, the form. We have form. to fill out the Google form. Uh, yeah. Right, Google form. Oh, that's basically that. it. That's all I want for tomorrow is your form. All right. So, you know, you have plenty of time to think about it. Um, and just, uh, you know, think about how those sounds can be incorporated. Maybe talk to some people, right? Talk to your friends and think about how creative you can get with the story. Um, and, uh, like, maybe we will turn it into a video at some point and, um, you know, bring it into Google Slides and we can add some pictures to it, which then isn't technically a podcast, but, um, you know, I think it would be a kind of cool way for some, some storytelling there. All right, so actually I'm going to assign that now and because I can't actually put it. I have one typo somewhere. Oh, that was in my form. I'm not going to be able to fix that from here. And now you guys should have that. You can kind of start thinking about that and you know, all those sounds that are involved in there. All right. Um, so that's all I have for tonight. Um, I think I would like to, I was thinking of maybe doing a critique of these projects tomorrow. Um, maybe for some extra credit, if you guys can get online, maybe we'll say, we'll cut it, put it right after break for our lunch. Maybe I'll say around 12 o'clock, we'll do a uh, critique of our telecommuting presentations and kind of talk about that and make that kind of feel like we're back in the classroom. Wait, is it going to be like we're going to have a phone call and then you're going to present it and we all watch them together? Well, I would not, I was thinking I would do just like we're doing now and I'll sh share my screen and I can just go through and just look at each one and we can talk about them in that way. Because mm -hmm. right? okay. you guys can see my screen right now and if I play a, uh, a presentation here, Let's see, what if I, watch that was his sound. Right, if I, if I pull this up, you guys are seeing telecommuting by Lazaro, right? Yeah, yeah. but I'm getting a very low frame rate. It's kind of lagging a little bit? Yeah. Um, well, because the other thing, if we look at the links together, we're never going to be able to kind of be synchronized. I mean, I guess that would be the other way. Um, anybody have any other suggestions here? There's probably another, like, video chat thing where you could present your screen and not have it run uh, at low frame rate. I know some people are using Zoom meetings. We're actually going to use that for a staff meeting tomorrow. Um, I can try that out. We can see how that works for tomorrow. But, um, I guess worst case scenario, we can make a new Discord channel and then uh, post each of the links and we all have to like, comment on it or something. Um, yeah, actually, you know what I could try too? I mean, I'm, start, I'm recording all this on OBS. So maybe instead of recording it, I'll, I'll stream it. And see if that will pick up the bandwidth and make it a little bit better. So uh, okay. either way, I'll have a link tomorrow at. Um, I can at, um, channel. I'll have it up for twelve o'clock, and then we'll see. We'll try another means of uh, of streaming, and go from there. All right. So uh, thanks for all doing the work and getting it in and uh, giving me feedback on this stuff. Uh, hopefully we can just keep getting bigger and better with stuff and, and learn how to use all this stuff and, and still kind of be together remotely. Mm. All right. What time are you guys going to bed? Right now. Right now. Uh, uh, for a while I have insomnia. At midnight. <laughs> uh, see, uh, yeah, I was probably in a few now. hours. All right, well, you can health class is going to keep me up till 12. I've been sleeping <laughs> at like 12 in the morning. Yeah. Sounds like right. I can. Well, yeah. you got something to think about. If your mind is going, uh, try to I think like of a story all with all these sounds in it, right? And Hello.
Yeah. Hello, is that you, Marty? Yeah, sorry I'm late. That's all right. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. You can see what you missed in a couple minutes. All right, cool. All right, but uh, I just, uh, I'm posting up the new assignment for, or it's posted for tomorrow, so you can check that out. If you have any questions. All right, got it. If you have any questions, my email is in the stream, or you can contact me on Discord. All right. All right, so thanks again, everybody, and I uh, look forward to talking again tomorrow around 12, hopefully, for our uh, critiques. Okay. Good night. Cool. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.